in the auditorium at Soldiers and Sailors, and this is the central feature of the building. The whole building is built around this auditorium. It's 70 feet tall, the roof, and it seats 2,300 people. Uh, it's used for, our, today it's used for graduations, ceremonies, concerts, tours, everything that you could imagine or that we can book it for is held here. It's almost identical as you see it today as it was in 1910, with the exception of new seats, obviously. Seats were replaced, but the Gettysburg Address you see behind me is original to the building. It's a painting. It's a very large painting painted on canvas. And we see it in photographs in the earliest photos of soldiers and sailors, the opening ceremony that's there, the eagle medallions, the plaster work, the ceiling, everything is original. And it, it, this is stuff that, uh, it takes your breath away when you walk in here and see this for the first time. And it's the kind of thing where you hear a remark of somebody saying, boy, they don't build it like this anymore, because they don't. I mean, the craftsmen or, or the expense of building something like this would be so prohibitive. The craftsmen don't exist. Um, you know, this is one of these reminders of America and its uh, booming days and its uh, coming of age. And this, this place was meant to uh, be a cultural, civic, community location. It was meant to be that in 1910 and it still serves as that today.